One man who transcribed every weekday night at this time by Tabson, the new improved antihistaminic tablet for the symptoms of colds and hay fever. Another fine, dependable product of Miles Laboratories, makers of Alka-Seltzer. Overheard between Paul and Clifford on the back step. We had some excitement around here last night, Paul. Yeah? Prowl or a thief or something in the house. Oh? Poor old Arnie Gans was pretty sneaky. Well, I'm not surprised. He's scared to death Dad's going to can him today. Mm-hmm. So that's how it is with the barbers today. Do you dread the summertime because you usually suffer with hay fever or summertime colds? If so, you'll want to send in for a liberal trial package of Tabson, spelled T-A-B-C-I-N. It will cost you only 10 cents to find out how effectively Tabson can help relieve the discomfort of hay fever or summer colds. Tabson is the new improved antihistaminic tablet especially designed to check the misery of these discomforts. It acts to relieve the sniffling and sneezing, the itching and watering of the eyes and nose, and it also offers relief from the headache that so often accompanies these ailments. You can try this wonderful product for just 10 cents, friends. Here's all you do. Send 10 cents with your name and address to Miles Laboratories, Box 30, Elkhart, Indiana. We will send you a regular 45-cent trial package of Tabson from our regular stock. But you must send for your trial package right away. Because this offer is for a limited time only. Here's the address again. Send 10 cents to Miles Laboratories, Box 30, Elkhart, Indiana, for a regular 45 cent trial package of Tabson. <laughs> Chapter 18, Book 76. The Book of Rexford Throne. It is bright and warm this morning in San Francisco. Up in Seacliff at the family home, Father Barber's flowers are opening luxuriantly to the early sun as Paul steps out the back door and starts toward the garage. Oh, wait a second. Oh, good morning, Cliff. Well, aren't you up a little early? Yeah, I ran down to catch you before you went off to work. You got a minute? Sure. Let's go down on these back steps. You look a little groggy. Yeah. Didn't have time to comb my hair or anything. I just pulled on a pair of trousers over my pajamas. Well, that's an interesting combination. Well, what's up? We had some excitement around here last night while you were out. You got home pretty late, didn't you? Uh huh. And I waited up for you till past midnight. Finally gave up and went to bed. Well, what about this excitement? We had a prowler or a thief or something in your house. Oh? Huh? Go on, let me hear about this prowler. Well, Jack and Arnie and I were outside here last night, and we saw somebody run out of the house. We heard a noise first. Well, I couldn't hear anything it was. It was dark, and the guy was gone before we got to realize what had happened. Just got a fleeting glimpse of somebody, and that was that. You're kind of way strange. Well, I couldn't swear to it, of course, but I'll take a bet it was from me. Hmm. It might sound silly to you. You'd be crazy enough to catch a chance coming into my house, but there was something familiar about the build of the guy. Kind of tall, mean, like from him, you know? I say it was dark. We didn't get a good look at him really. He didn't see anything clearly. He was gone so fast. Uh huh. But if it was for him, what the heck was he after? I looked around the house some. Couldn't find any evidence of anything being disturbed. Just in the mom and dad's room. They were both sleeping peacefully. Well, they don't know anything about it then. No, slept right through the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Just as well they didn't wake up. Well, think I'd have mentioned to them this morning? Oh, I wouldn't. I know, but we ought to call the police. And we better to tell them before we do that. Well, let's not get the police in on this, please. Well, why not? We can't have somebody coming into our house this way and they're not reported. Suppose the guy comes back again. I don't think he will. Well, yeah, but you don't know. Well, I feel pretty sure about it. Well, for all you know, this bird might be dangerous. And he might have carried off something valuable. I'm going to check around the house after I've had breakfast. Couldn't be sure last night. He didn't look the place over thoroughly because... I didn't even wake me any day. Mm. Well, hey, you're taking this pretty calm, seems to me. Don't you think it's serious? Of course I do. It's just that uh, I think I know what the man is after, that's so. all. Huh? Well, what do you mean? Well, what you've been telling me explains what happened up in my studio. Something I saw before I came down this morning. I was wondering about it. Well, I looked up there last night before you got in. I didn't see anything. You didn't go into my desk, did you? No, just glanced around. Nothing seemed to be out of place. Well, somebody had opened the drawers in my desk and had messed up a lot of papers and stuff I had in there. No kidding. Did they take anything? Nothing missing, as far as I could tell. You don't keep anything valuable up there, do you? 
Well, I've got to get on out to the airport. My daughter's just about long. Uh, Paul. Yes, sir. <laughs> I won't keep you but a moment if you're not in too much of a hurry. Oh, no. That's okay. You so for I think we'll be rid of that chrome individual before so very long. Oh? So we put up with a certain amount of harassment from him at the beginning when he first arrived, but... This morning, I came down here with a feeling of well-being. Well, I'm glad to hear that, Dan. It was all good to see you so cheerful when you came out of the house. Exactly. When you feel the things are right, it changes your whole outlook on life. Yeah, it certainly does. Well, no, I realize I've done considerable... <laughs> your, your mother calls it fussing, but it's my belief that we had good reason to be concerned over this man. In the past, sir. This morning, I have a premonition about how the situation is going to resolve itself. Oh, how? Rexford Frome has been defeated. Now, you mark my word. Very shortly, he'll put his tail between his legs and sneak out of San Francisco, and that will be the last of him. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir, and I want to give credit where credit is due. Oh, true, I had the foresight to hire the man, but he's accomplished what I had little hope that he would be able to do. Mm -hmm. yes. It's to him that we're indebted for our victory over Rexford Frome. Why do you suppose we haven't been molested? Why do you suppose we've been able to go to our beds with a confident assurance that we are ably and conscientiously watched over? The answer lies with our friend, Anigas. Well, I think it'd be nice if you told him how you feel about him. I intend to. As far as I'm concerned, he's got a job for life. <laughs> Have you sent for your liberal trial package of Tabson, friends? Remember, Tabson acts to check the discomforts of hay fever and summer colds effectively and fast. Tabson, spelled T-A-B-C-I-N, is the improved antihistaminic tablet made by Miles Laboratories. Tabson is especially designed to relieve the misery of hay fever and summer colds. Tabson checks the sniffling and sneezing, the itching and watering of the eyes and nose, and it also acts to relieve the headache that so often accompanies hay fever and summer colds. For just 10 cents, you can try Tabson. Yes, we will send you a regular 45-cent trial package from our regular stock for just 10 cents. Send your dime with your name and address to Miles Laboratories, Box 30, Elkhart, Indiana. Don't delay. This offer is for a limited time only. Get your dime in the mail now. Remember the address. Send 10 cents to Miles Laboratories, Box 30, Elkhart, Indiana, for a liberal trial package of T-A-B-C-I-N, Tabson. <laughs> I hope for poor Arnie's sake that Dad doesn't hear about Frome's visit to our house and his attempt to get Christine's letters. But my principal concern is to hear from Christine himself and to learn just what is in back of Rex's compulsion to possess them. Unless Christine asks for the letters, their content will never be divulged. And that's how it is with the Barbies today. Good night. hot weather makes your feet itch and burn? Do you feel miserable with athlete's foot? Here's a remarkable new germicide and fungicide for you. It's Bactine, spelled B-A-C-T-I-N-E. Bactine is amazingly effective, yet it does not sting nor burn like harsher antiseptic. Use it to relieve the itching and combat the infection of athlete's foot. See how truly effective Bactine can be in relieving this common ailment. Bactine is a clear, colorless liquid. Will not stain has a fresh, clean odor. Ask your druggist for Bactine, B-A-C-T-I-N-E, 30 and 70 cents a bottle. One Man's Family is brought to you transcribed every weekday night at this time by Miles Laboratories, makers of Tabson. Tomorrow, Chapter 19, Book 76. This is a Carlton E. Morse production, directed by Michael Raffetto. One Man's Family comes to you from California. Stay tuned for Morgan Beatty and the story of the first marine landing in Korea. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company.